I was out here almost every day. A lot of days I'd play 36 holes. I'd get here early, go play and get done, have some lunch, and then I'd go play again in the afternoon. For Chaz Reavy, being home in Mesa, Arizona means visiting a place he spent most of his childhood, Dobson Ranch Golf Course. Like old times, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Brian Herring, he's the head pro here now, and I've known him my whole life, really. We have a lot of amazing memories, and it's great for me to still be able to come out here and play golf with him. Any good practice rounds? Any good Monday through Wednesday games you had going on? It's just great to have people in your life that, that are supporting you and happy for you to succeed. When he's in contention, our little lounge is full, and everybody's kind of glued to their seat waiting to see what happens. He's a great example for all our juniors that are around here that aspire to be a golf professional. All right, guys, let's head to my old high school. We're the Mustangs, we're the Dobson High School Mustangs. A couple of my friends actually coach at the high school now and teach. Everyone still lives here. I still keep in contact with you know my core group of friends. And they come out to the Phoenix Open every year and support me, and it's nice to see them. Now we're going to head to the house I grew up in. And it was nice because there used to be a Vans golf shop just right here, and I could ride my bike to it growing up. So I would always ride my bike and check out all the new equipment and pick out all the presents I wanted Santa to bring me for Christmas. Yeah, it was, my parents' house is right here. We moved here when I was five. A lot of kids growing up in this area. And so, you know, there was a lot to do. There were a lot of people around and playing sports, and you just made a lot of friends. So and everybody lived kind of really close, so it was just nice. Always had something fun to do. Yeah, I grew up being a Sun Devil fan and being so close to Tempe. That was always at the top of my list. It's where I wanted to go to school, play golf. Nice that it worked out. So this is ASU Karsten Golf Course. This is where the ASU golf team plays and practices. And it's nice because it's right here by the ASU campus. So you just you come park here in the morning and you could ride your bike to class, ride your bike back whenever you wanted and practice. You get better at golf. It's the perfect situation. How are you, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Everything good? Yeah. So this is the ASU men's locker room. A really neat feature about this is that they leave the players' names and what years they were here. And then you can see this was my locker for me, Matt Jones. When you're a new, new golfer on the team, you walk in and you can just see the history and the players and the great players who have played here. And Paul Casey's locker. Here's Jeff Quinney's locker here motivates you to play well. So this is a study room for the team here, right next to the locker room, same building. And it's great because on the walls, they have all the All-American plaques from all the players that have played here in the past. It's great when you come here and you hang out, you just get to see all the success that the prior players have had. This is an indoor hitting bay. It's nice when it gets hot in the summers, you can come in here, it's air conditioned. Also, they've got great video equipment and cameras and all that stuff so you can break down your golf swing and, and what you need to work on. And very lucky to have this at our fingertips. Well, I'd come back here and do this all over again if they'd let me. <laughs> <laughs>